Welcome back, everyone, to the h and Movement podcast. This is a great episode that we've been looking to put together for a long time now. And we have, I will say, hands down, the best setter in the world. We have Micah Christensen on the podcast today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, man. It's, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, you know, everyone from Hawaii is very proud and sees all of the great things that you have done through your career. And before we get into all of that, let's start briefly what was your childhood like when did you start to play sports and we'll touch on this a little bit more too because you are a kupono phase first cousin so there's a lot of competitive spirit and a lot of things that you guys share uh, not only when you were growing up but even now to this day so share a little bit about your childhood yeah um I guess you could say I was kind of born into sports a little bit. My parents both played collegiate ball at UH Hilo. My dad playing basketball there and my mom playing volleyball there. And both being fairly successful kind of in their sports during their primes before career ending injuries and this and that. So I was around uh, a lot of balls, let's say. Volleyballs, basketballs, golf balls that I... You know, from a young age, was introduced to sports, whether it be, you know, I have a lot of memories of just like a little basketball hoop in our in our living room. And we just play on it over and over again and shooting around and just um, it was kind of normal. So I didn't really know much else. But and that kind of instilled a little bit of competitive spirit in me. And I think my parents um, did a very good job of pushing me in that direction, not pushing me, but guiding me in that direction mm-hmm. of, I bet you can't make another one, you know, little, little jabs and this and that. And I fed into it. And so I, uh, to this day, I, I credit that a lot to where I am today in terms of my competitive spirit and kind of the internal intrinsic motivation to kind of get things, get better and do a, do a little bit more. And so from a young age, it was a lot about sports. It was a lot about just enjoying, enjoying the competition and enjoying being surrounded by different sports, trying all the different kinds of sports. That's great. And that's how most athletes, you know, start off like before you even realize what competing actually is, you're in it, you know, in some environment, whether that's with your friends or your family and thinking back on that, when did actual competitive sports start for you? Yeah, I mean, I think the word competitive is relative, right? Because like, okay, you have organized sports where you're, where you're competing, let's say, but it's all about having fun and you know making friends, and it's a social, social deal. Um, but I bet you I started as young as you probably could have when you signed up for AYSO soccer or KBA. It was KBA Kailua Basketball Association. I grew up in Kailua, so I was playing KBA out there for a while in the eight foot rims. I was more, I mostly just played basketball growing up. Um, obviously dabbled in a lot of different other sports, but basketball was kind of my main sport um, that I contributed most of my attention to. And I think Kupono can say the same. Like we grew up playing basketball quite a bit together, not necessarily on the same team because I was a little bit older, but in the, in the driveway, in the backyard, playing mostly on the same team, which is hilarious. Like, you know, we're competitive, this and that, but we were like, no, 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 I'm Colby, you're Shaq. And we're just like throwing each other alley-oops the whole time and being hilariously on the same team. Now that you think about it, cause you know, you want to compete, you want to win, but we wanted to, to be on the same team against imaginary defenders. And then so that, and that was, we did that for hours. Yes, that definitely um, memories that no one can take away from you guys. And thinking about so basketball was your main sport. I actually did not know that. What other sports did you play just growing up as a child? Um, well, I played I played basketball. I played soccer growing up. I played I did junior golf as well at Olamana Golf Course. I did some football, some flag football at Kahala. I think those were kind of the main sports, never really baseball, but um, I did volleyball. I probably started competitive volleyball, like for real kind of volleyball at when I was 13, Okay, like club volleyball. But my mom and dad played in adult tournaments, mostly my mom, but my dad as well. But so we'd go watch my mom play and my dad and myself would be on the side peppering or 
once again, competitively, seeing how many we could consecutively get in a row together. And just, I have memories of that, that being kind of my first volleyball memories was rallying at my mom's games on the side or, you know, when sets finish or the games finish running on the court, trying to play a little bit. And it's just being a kind of a little gym rat um, when I could, that was kind of my first memory of volleyball in particular, but a whole lot of, whole lot of different sports and, and uh, experiences. And I'm super glad that I was able, I was afforded that, that opportunity to play a lot of different sports. And I think it's contributed a lot to different, also mentalities, also different strategies, but also just coordination in general. That was my, my, my follow-up question, but you just explained it a little bit there is that a lot of these athletes, you know, growing up in Hawaii, we're exposed to good weather all the time. You're playing outdoors all the time. And we typically play, you know, sports year round, different sports. And that's one thing I think every single Hawaii athlete I talk to is that that versatility of being exposed to all these different sports, right? From soccer to golf, all of these things. It not only, like you said, uh, contributes physically, but also mentally. And, you know, you get a different perspective of how to compete, I think. And that's one of the, the things that I think you take away from all of that the most. <laughs> 